Just a rainy Monday, sitting at our table. Two cups and an empty chair. You'll be gone till Sunday. Everything's unstable. I was unprepared. The colors don't look quite the same, and the wind keeps whispering your name. If the world looks different, then it's you to blame. Oh, yeah. so I count the minutes, I count the days, I count the stars, and all the ways I feel your touch when you'll be back to stay. Oh, yeah. call you every night. I say that I'm alright, but. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to take you along my weekend, how I spend my weekend. And today is on a Friday. It's it's on the 6th of October 2023. And I shopped in three different places. First of all, to Miniso, then I went to Car 4, and then to Naivas. Yeah, because I wanted to redeem my loyalty points at neighbor stores now these face masks i was buying them at 50 shillings each yeah that's a foot mask i got them all from miniso this is also a face mask this one too i bought several of them yeah that's a tea tree one and then i also got this facial cleanser i just wanted to try it out yeah that's all with the miniso then this is the carrefour haul i bought carrefour glass cleaner it was the cheapest that's why i got it and then sanitary towels i've been using them for a while and they're really good yeah especially at night they prevent leakage i also got this uh, body scrub it's a uh, coffee and vanilla then i also got this coriander i ran out of coriander and then this hand wash I really like the smell of it and it was the cheapest there. This is the first time I'm going to try this Himalayan salt. I also got this Pepsodent. So this is the first time I'll be trying it out. Yeah, and then I also got this nail polish for my toenails. And I think that's all with the car for. Then let's go to Naivas. This is the first bag of Naivas. I was able to redeem my loyalty points and I got several things. That's a pack of Witabix for my kids. They like Witabix in the morning. These are brown buns from Naivas. I bought two packs, but I've already eaten some from the first pack these are tomatoes they were at least fair there and these are popcorns I just want to make them for my children this is Ndengo this is my favorite brand it's usually very clean I don't have to worry about stones and it's also nice I bought eggs self-raising for my pancakes and also mandazi then i got eggs chapati flour this is the one i prefer for my chapatis i got two kgs of the neighbor's sugar and then i got a maize maize flour that's my favorite i've tried others but i prefer this one i got some 
some cortex then I got prestige margarine then chili uh, beef cube that's a first bag then in the second bag we have this is Miranda I like buying it from neighbors yeah and it's also not expensive these are two bunches of spinach Uh, this is uh, five liters of Rina cooking oil. Yeah, today they had an offer. I bought it at uh, $10.99. This, this will take me a long way. Then I got milk, several packets of milk. That's my favorite brand, Mount Kenya. Yeah, I got uh, 12 packets of the milk. And uh, the five packets will take us around five days we usually take a lot of milk we can use like more than a liter in a day yeah because of the kids yeah yeah then i got two packets of mala we're going to have it with ugali and then here I got four pieces of uh, brown, four packets of brown, two beef brown, and then uh, these other two is the chicken brown. Yeah, I like them so much. And then this is drinking chocolate. I bought just a uh, one sachet. And here is my minced meat. It has been squashed. Yeah, it was at the bottom. Yeah, I'll be cooking that later. Yeah, we are done with that. But there are a few things that uh, that I had bought also. Yeah, this is soda. This is what I had with my with the buns for lunch because I was very hungry. Then these velvex kitchen tissues then this is um shower gel then these are 10 pack of tissues is the cheapest today yeah that's my shopping haul this is just a restock uh these will just take cards for the next few days and then i have to go back and get more yeah for the milk could just take us like five days or less yeah that's it with the whole this is later in the evening it's still on friday i want to boil these dangos i'm first of all going to wash them and then i'm going to boil them in the pressure cooker well, don't mind my countertops. At the moment, the only thing missing in this kitchen are the countertops and the cabinets, but we are going to be installing them very soon. Yeah, so in the meantime, this is how it is. There are several things we need to do in this house. We just decided to just come and, you know, start living in it but we have the basics and we are comfortable. I would like to welcome you once more. My name is Glory. I am a wife and a mother of four. I do cleaning and overall just home making videos. Yeah, motivation videos. If this is the kind of content that you like, please subscribe, like the video please leave me a comment and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you get notified every time that i post a new video and please give it a thumbs up because liking this video helps you to get recommended to more viewers i hope you enjoy
I am adding some salt to the dango and then I'm going to add water and let it just you know cover it up not so much just to enough for for it to cook well and I guess that's enough then I'm going to close the lid and then I'm going to set it on the ceiling position I'm going to use the pressure cook function I will reduce that to six minutes that's the amount of time I normally use to cook my dengu and once the six minutes are over I will just leave it for around 10 minutes and then that's when I'm going to open and my dengu will be ready by then As you can see, my dengu is ready. It absorbed all the water. And now I'm going to put the dengu into containers and let it cool. And then later on, I'm going to be freezing some of it. Yeah, and uh, we'll just leave one container that we're going to be cooking tomorrow morning. I like to label everything that goes into the freezer. I'm using a masking tape and a felt pen. I'm going to label three of them and then I'm going to leave just one for tomorrow. There's no need of labeling. I also write the date so that I know when it was prepared. Yeah, this one we're going to have it tomorrow. So let, them, let me just leave them here cool completely and then I'll be freezing them later. This is my deep freezer. I prefer storing them here. Just uh, whatever you are using immediately that's what goes into the freezer in the fridge. This is now the following day, Saturday morning. I want to start by preparing lunch. Yeah, I prefer preparing lunch in the morning before we leave. So that when we come back, when everybody is all tired and hungry, we have something to eat immediately. And I want to boil this water for my rice. I'm making rice and dengu. This is how I prefer to do it. I now want to prepare breakfast. I want to toast the buns and then we are going to have them with this prawn. Today we are going to have the chicken prawn. So I'll start by, I'll cut them in the middle, then I will apply the margarine and then I'm going to put them on the pan to toast. Yeah and then we are going to have them with a brown and some tea that's my daughter she wanted some brown she really loves you know brown yeah so this is how i do it i'm just going to 
place them on the pan until they are brown and then I'm going to assemble them. This is how they turned out yeah, and everybody enjoyed them yeah here I'm washing rice so that I can start cooking yeah, I normally wash my rice until it's completely clean Here I'm preparing onion and tomatoes that I'm going to use to fry the dengu and at some point I stopped filming because I was running late. Yeah, I'll show you how it came out. This is later in the afternoon after church. I'm pouring the parcel detergent into this empty container that I, uh, that had the oxyclean before. It's easier to you know use it when it's in this container than the box. Yeah, I'm just wiping what poured there. Yeah, I like to start my laundry. On Saturday evening because you know there's one time that the power went off 
and I don't know why the machine refused to open the door and my children's uniform was in the machine so it was a tough time for me so I decided that I'll be starting on Saturday evening and right now I'm doing the children's load the uniforms and other clothes that they wear at home and then I'm just going to leave it running and I will dry them the following day which is Sunday yeah I will show you that yeah I guess uh, that's it for now yeah the wet clothes I normally put them aside and just wait for a big load so that I can be able to wash them instead of just washing two or three pieces of clothing yeah that's what I normally do I normally set aside the whites so that I can wash them together I am using this power extension my power socket has not been fixed yet so now I'm going to put the detergent into the drawer for this particular load I'm going to do a pre-wash yeah and the pre-wash goes there that I'm just using just a little bit you don't need so much for the pre-wash and then I'm going to be adding for the main wash yeah for the kids clothes I like doing a pre-wash first you know kids they get that when they go to play outside and uh, just turning on the water and then uh, switching on the machine and then I'm going to select the Cotton Plus Psycho. It's really good at, you know, getting your clothes clean. Then I'm going to change the temperature from 60 to 30 degrees Celsius. And then I'm also going to change the spin to a thousand because it's sunny outside. Then I'm going to select the pre-wash and the extra rinse so as to remove all the dirt and all the detergent residue yeah it's going to take 2 hours and 24 minutes good morning this is the following day, Sunday morning. I am now unloading yesterday's laundry, the clothes for the kids. And then I'm going to do a load of dark clothes for me and my husband. I like washing our clothes and those for the kids separately. That is just how much I'm going to put. I'm only doing a main wash this time around. And then for the dark clothes, I like using the mixed fabric cycle. Because they don't need, you know, to take a lot of time to wash. And then I'm going to change the temperature from 40 to 30 I'll just let the uh, spin remain at a thousand and then I'm also adding the extra rinse, rinse cycle yeah and the load for the dark clothes is now done I'm going to remove them from the machine so that I can go and air dry them Yeah, I like turning the drums to check if there are those small items that have been, you know, left inside. I'm going to get more clothes. Yeah, 
these are our colored clothes if you like the video so far please give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and leave a comment also turn on your notification bell so that you get notified anytime i post a new video This is the pre-wash and that is for the main wash. I'm not using any fabric softener. And then I'm going to select a cotton plus cycle also for this. Yeah. And I like using the 30 degrees um, temperature and a thousand RPMs for the spin. Yeah, because we have sun outside, there's no need of, you know, taking it all the way to the highest. Then I'll select the pre-wash and the extra rinse. It's going to take 2 hours and 10 minutes. Yeah, these are the clothes. I've already hung them outside. Those are kids' clothes that I washed yesterday. Yeah, I've hanged all of them. Yeah, it's sunny outside. Yeah, it's such a beautiful morning. I'm sure everything is going to get dry real fast. Yeah, they are all clean. Yeah, everything is clean. And as I told you before, our house was not yet complete. At least now we want to finish up with, you know, the perimeter wall. Today is the final day they're going to be here. It's going to be done after today. Yeah, we moved into this place without a perimeter wall. And now that's the last portion of it that we are doing. Yeah. Yeah, I think everything is going on well. That load is done. Yeah, that's my daughter. She's trying to play with me there. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what she was thinking there. Then I'm going to go and get their school bags. Yeah, that's the last load I'm doing for today. For the white Mom. clothes, I'll be doing them later. <laughs> yeah, she was reminding me she had stuff in her bag, but I'd already checked them. To... Yeah, let's check everything before I put into the machine. Yeah, so I'm doing a pre-wash and a main wash. And I'm going to use the mixed fabric cycle because it doesn't take long and they're going to come out clean. If you've watched until this far, I want to thank you so much. If you're new here, please remember to subscribe, like, comment, and share. And thank you so much to my returning subscribers. Thank you for your support. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.